We're excited to be rolling out our 700MR, our Mission Reality Simulator. Uh, this is going to be a flight training device built upon years of experience and also a lot of customer interaction where we've been looking for uh, customer feedback that we've gotten from about 20 nations around the world on what they see and what they need in their next generation flight training device. This is going to bring enhanced uh, high definition visual systems, uh, the Open Geospatial Consortium common database, uh, as well as a new dome, uh, dynamic seat, and a new flight deck that can include not only an advanced uh, operator station, but also room for uh, there to be mission uh, support personnel in the back for the future uh, design of this simulator. And this will be front end and uh, I understand the rear crewman uh, can also be linked in? Absolutely. This is a, a simulator that, uh, of course, along with many of the uh, activities that we do at CAE, is going to provide that uh, distributed mission operational capability, linking simulators together so that you have that real flight uh, situation, uh, the dynamic uh, environment between simulators. Uh, between the actual helicopters uh, and the simulators that are flying. And again, as you mentioned, we will have uh, the capability to bring in rear crew training into the simulator. And you do day, night, NVG, dust landings? Absolutely. Uh, this is uh, built upon the 3000 series of full motion simulators, but we're finding that uh, the customers are very happy with a flight training device. Uh, and along with that, bringing in some of the key needs of their training regimes. That includes night vision goggles uh, and that will uh, enhance the training experience for the customer. And you have a motion seat? We do. We've, uh, we've gone out and, and done quite extensive investigations, brought in a dynamic seat into the flight training device. Uh, this is going to give some real-time motion cueing, uh, give you that vibration uh, that is necessary in a, uh, a stable platform that's not on motion to still give you those same queuing effects. Will this complement the full mission simulators that people have got? Absolutely. Uh, you can tie this simulator across many of the uh, uh, devices, whether they be full motion or just a flight training device. And again, that's what we saw the customer needs to be as we went out and researched for what they're looking for in the next generation uh, of simulation. And the future of this simulator? Uh, the future is uh, very uh, bright uh, for this. Uh, the Mission Reality Series uh, is what we have in the defense and security or the military uh, uh, part of CAE. Uh, we see that those simulators will be uh, uh, greatly enhancing the mission environments that we need to train in in the future. Uh, and this is uh, an exciting uh, launch and release of this product uh, for our militaries around the world.